Gravitational waves are ripples, not in air, not on a pond, but in space-time itself. And they're generated by, by massive objects moving around, like binary black holes or neutron stars. Theory told us from the days of Einstein that there could be black holes. It told us that if there are black holes or other dense objects, they will emit gravitational waves. So this, is, you know, this has been known for almost a century. The real complication is they're just so damn hard to see. So they can carry lots of energy, but because gravity is weak, the gravitational waves tend to be very difficult to measure. And that's what's changing now. We have been for years trying to both detect gravitational waves. We have seen uh, them in some sense indirectly, the effect they have in some binary systems like the pulsar, or the whole Taylor binary pulsar. We can now begin using gravitational waves to open a new window to the universe. It also opens a window, I think, on the dark universe. So astronomers have for the past 10,000 years been studying the light side of the universe. And contrary to what modern cinema might tell you, the dark side's equally important. And uh, there's a whole lot of things that don't emit light, but do have a lot of mass and a lot of energy and do emit gravitational waves. So gravitational wave astronomy, which takes off the moment gravitational waves are really discovered, opens up a whole new view on the universe and the things in it. Seeing gravitational waves is literally like the light, a new set of lights going on in the universe. We can now see the dark things. So we can see black holes. Conceivably, over time, we would get to see the dark matter using gravitational waves it emits. We, something excites me in particular is that if we can detect gravitational waves with enough precision, we will literally be able to look back to the Big Bang and see what happened at the moment the universe began.